Hello and welcome to Pride and Politics with Mizan, a show where we get to discuss what's going on in the world and in our local politics, the topic that impact you and matter the most. Today we are discussing regeneration and its impact. Is it a positive approach to rejuvenating areas and population or are there destructive elements for individual lives and communities that needs to be considered? To dig deeper in the issue, we will be focusing on Chris Street Market development as an example of regeneration. For those of you who don't know the Chris Street Market, it is a marketplace within Lansbury Estate in Poplar in the London borough of Tower Hamlets. It was the first purpose-built pedestrian shopping area in the United Kingdom, built as part of 1951 Festival of Britain. It features prominent clock tower, shops, small retail outlets, pubs, cafes, apartments, and over 100 market stalls. You will have seen or shopped at the local stalls and shops. There are also large residential population who live close to the market. On 24th July 2018, Tower Hamlet Strategic Development Co Committee anonymously approved the regeneration plan for the Chris Street Market to redevelop the market and surrounding housing to improve the area. This sounds like a positive development. However, there have been objections from the local communities and traders who fear being pushed out of the area they have lived or worked in for their entire lives. My guests today are people who are linked to the area and the development. I'd like to introduce to you from far right, Kahar Chaudhary, local uh, ward councillor. Um, Babu Bhattacharji, Director, Com Community and Neighbourhood, Poplar Harka. Welcome to the show. Um, on my left, uh, Mr. Amar Hassani. Good did, did I get it right? Yes, you did. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, Chris Street Trader. Right. And on my far left, Zakaria Hussein, uh, campaigner. Welcome to the show. Thank you very Good much. You. Um, just to <clears throat> kickstart everything, um, let me just uh, address this question to um, Babu is why the need for regeneration in this area? As an organisation, we've been working in Poplar, so we, we're not working across the whole of Tower Hamlets, but we're working in Poplar for 20 years. Um, we've seen uh, uh, the stock, the housing, uh, the shops, we've looked at the area, we engage with the communities, and we've looked at a range of solutions, and sometimes a regeneration solution is the right one, um, and in this case, uh, as it is for Chris Street, we believe it's in the best interest of the community, um, the traders uh, and um, the well-being of the area for the market to be uh, part of a regeneration scheme. That but brings why is there so much noise against opposing the whole concept, you're, uh, you know, what Harker is proposing? Why is so many traders uh, and the residents not happy about what you're proposing? Yeah, it's clear that um, change is um, something that's worrying to some, some residents, some traders. Um, we've tried hard to make the case for why we think regeneration is in the interests of a local community, that it can be part of a local solution and that it can bring jobs, it can bring um, better opportunities to shop, it can bring better opportunities for the wider area. Uh, let me and just, uh, uh, just hold on to it. Let me just address this, Amar. Why is there so much noise uh, from opposing the whole uh, development that Harka is trying to? I mean, is, isn't it a good thing that they're trying to do for the local community and for the traders? Yeah, I mean, there seems to be a lot of misconception over this. Um, in a way, we agree with Popular Harka, regeneration is required. We're, we're not. Against, we agree on that. Yeah, one. we agree on that. Um, mm -hmm. We agree on many of the things. Chris Street is run down, it's dilapidated, it does require it. We, our concerns are the way that it's been handled by Poplar Harker. Um, consultations have not taken place properly. But they, they, say, they, 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 say, they, they, they say they say they have done it. They've. they've I, have, have, have you been uh, well, in one of yeah, them? It, a consultation is meant to be a two-way conversation. They're supposed to take our views on board, take the local community views on board. They haven't done that. What they are, they're putting us over a table like this, and they're literally putting the paper, this is what we're going to do. Is, not, is that, is that, is that um, what That's happened? what their agents are saying, not, not directly Poplar Harker. Okay. They've, they've appointed a company called M&M, um, M, 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 I think, and that's how they've been very shrewd, arrogance, threatening behaviour. Is, is it from the M&M? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's the, the agents they've appointed, and we have okay. complained on many occasions. There's been written complaints, there's been 
verbal complaints around these agents and Pablo Harka don't seem to take any interest in listening to tenants to bring somebody else in who's a bit calmer, can sit down over a table and negotiate. Well, you know, we're not, we're not saying, um, redevelop, look, it's, it's uh, 1950, I believe this building was made, we're, we're now 70, 80 years in. Um, it, it does need redoing, uh, we're all for it, but you know, somebody who's been trading like myself here for 15 years, we want some guarantees. Um, we're looking at other projects Poplar Harper have done in um, Isle of Dogs. We've done one down the road from Chris Street in uh, the Upper Feldy. We've spoken to retailers there that the rents have been pushed up almost 100 to 200 percent, which becomes unaffordable. Um, you know, we're not we're not Westfields. We're not uh, Canary Wharf. Can, can I come just come to this sure. point? Um, what can you say about that? Uh, you know, the traders and the residents are not being dealt with the. Uh, agent that has been appointed by Hanka. Um, um, I, think, I think the nature of any negotiation is there are always going to be interests at play and uh, for some people I think, I think I, can, I can listen to comments about how well those negotiations have gone and whether relationships have been handled properly and say that we've always been open ourselves uh, where our agents uh, maybe aren't representing our views properly. I'm not saying that's true, but in a situation where traders feel that the agents aren't representing our views fairly, um, we've always got an open door and we're always ready to look at that and, and have those conversations further, as we have done with many traders, um, as things have arisen and as things have needed to be explained um, or added to. Um, Kahar, um, yes. from council point of view, um, how has council managed to handle this? Because uh, you know, uh, uh, they're the one who actually gave the permission for the go ahead of this development. So, how has council actually handled this issue? Well, just to give it some context, um, as you are aware, the SDC itself is quasi judicial, so um, they look at a particular application on its merit and agree that. So, that's what's happened at the last uh, meeting. So in terms of the um, concerns of, with the, with the uh, traders and the consultation that uh, Amabai was referring to, um, so w when these issues were raised with us as local councillors and even before the election, um, what we did was we took those issues, we raised them with Poplar Haka, with the directors, we went back and forth having uh, several meetings with them regarding those concerns and highlighting them, including that going around um, to residents as well as traders and finding out um, what are their concerns and then highlighting them to um, Poplar Harker. So um, essentially when, a, when a, um, a regeneration like this presents itself, we, we have to look at the benefits for our, our residents. So a mixture of social and affordable housing, uh, the council policy is 35 to 50%, so um, we want to look at achieving that bracket uh, that is desirable to go on the upper scale of uh, that um, a scale. Um, and then also protection for traders. So um, are they going to be driven out? Is it going to be like for life? Are they going to be driven out? That is the um, big, biggest so worry from yes, the traders' indeed, point of view. Yeah, indeed. I mean, so, there's no guarantees yeah. given on paper. Is it yeah, so what, what, what I have said um, from the very beginning and um, the party as a whole, the Labour Party that is, we've always said that um, there has to be there has to be these protections for um, traders. So if you with any regeneration, if you change the demographic so much, so it becomes actually gentrification. So do we want we want these local traders, local businesses, including the stores, to thrive and stay there. So obviously the regeneration will will provide uh, many benefits, which um, you highlighted the word gentrification. You know, yeah. it's, it's, a, yeah. it's quite so this is what, this is, what, know, is, is yeah. this what's happening actually no. in uh, um, directly I would, in I would I would I would submit no because because we have a mixture of uh, social and affordable housing. Uh, London Mayor Sadiq Khan himself is investing uh, as as London Mayor is investing. Let, let me in come the, back to okay. you on that point. Sure. Just, just hold sure. on to it. Sure. Let me just bring in uh, yeah, sure. Zakaria. Um, is it fair to object <coughs> such a boldly uh, investment that Harka is uh, uh, planning to invest uh, in order to rejuvenate everything? To be honest with you, like um, as we all sort of agree, regeneration is key for that area. You know, there will be benefits that come in out of this regeneration, but doesn't mean that 
we should be held ransom to sort of corporate lobbying. When it comes down to the sort of issues at play here, you know, we've got a local councillor here who um, sat on one side of the fence and said no to sort of the initial um, planning committee before this election, so we had a different sort of planning committee. And it was indeed the Conservative councillor, Peter Gold, who raised objections to the lack of social housing. And there was another um, issue raised with the um, planning commission in regards to antisocial behaviour by um, councillor um, Asma Begum. I was at the um, SDC um, committee that recently happened that approved yes. And Councillor Carr, you know, you can correct me if you're wrong, you clapped, state, you know, happy that this permission was put forward. Yes, um, yes that's, right. that's not correct. No, that's, that's not correct. that is correct. I, I, I did not. I was okay. taking, I was taking mm. notes. I no, 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 no. Okay, so that's not correct. For, I'll, for this I'll discussion come back to, to it. for this discussion to sort of happen no, honestly and to be factual, allegation. you have to look at things from both sides <laughs> of the table. No one here is saying no to regeneration, but the word gentrification has come to light now. Um, let me finish, Carl. Um, so one thing that we have seen from this administration is the power that corporations have over it. The STC was meant to make a decision without any bias or any sort of views that will differentiate it. We've seen in the planning committee that there has been a lot of discussions with um, Steve Strides, and no offence to um, Babu, but um, he's not the right person here to be answering all the questions. Have we got the just number of social housing properties available? The council itself is invested by giving a huge pull of land for near enough nothing. You know, local traders, they've been through these years of, you know, we're talking about it's dilapidated, dilapidated, we're talking that it's dirty, that it needs to be rejuvenated. These people have suffered, and this is the existing community. And since this decision has come about, the local mosque has been closed down, shops are closing at a rate which, is, which hasn't been seen, and then ultimately our local councillors and people who are elected for these particular wards, who are they actually working for? Is it the corporation or is it the public? And ultimately we're here today to discuss who is doing what, and for me, as a campaigner, we used to be of, of a, a different political party before. It's not about finding the right answer. It's actually finding a middle ground. That hasn't been achieved yet. And secondly, if you look at the SDC as well, um, are, are our elected officials asking the right questions of the officers? You know, this is a big, big project. It's not, you know, can, can just, having a little paint on it. asking the right question to... Well, know, look, like I said, the decision... We're not. The, the other two councillors, my colleagues, so Councillor Bex White and Henry, I, I could not be here. They, well, they so could not be here, them. so their apologies, because one is on a holiday yeah. and the other is engaged with yeah. family. So neither of us are on the SDC, so it is a matter for the SDC. Uh, and like I said, it's quasi-judicial and they make the decision based on the merits of a given application. Uh, coming back to what Zach was saying about the... Um, those, so the first, the first uh, initial application that was deferred before the election, there were so many concerns, and we raised that. We actually then, after being so, did you say? Did you hold up a placard saying no to that particular? Yeah, more social time? housing. We wanted no, no, more. No, what I'm saying there is, there were a number of concerns. No, but I'm saying, but, but, but did you? Did, but so we've got all the concerns that the reason that these plans were deferred yeah. for, yeah. none of them have been addressed or answered. Nor did we. The main reason it was deferred for that there should be a public consultation. Poplar Hark, until date, did not have a public consultation to to so address just, the issues that uh, yeah. the, the the planning uh, was deferred. Just, um, just on also that. on housing, it didn't increase. It was fifty okay, percent. Just just on that point, um, the application that went to uh, committee was fully compliant with yeah. all the council's mm. policies. Um, there was an increase in social housing. It did reach the council's percentages that they wanted to see. Um, we talked about 35 to 50% as being a benchmark. The reason that it's closer to 35 than it is to 50 is because so much is being invested in the shops and the retail. If we weren't doing that, yeah, it might be impossible to raise the housing We've got a massive more. funding here from so, the GLA. Also, so, the land was given to you free. You're so not using the, the public question, land. So the, the wh question where, about, where are you using the taxpayer's land? There should be a higher payback to the taxpayer or to, to social housing. This is not a private land. This is not a private so, investment so, or development. So the question about stock transfer yeah. um, and uh, the circumstances in which land was transferred to Poplar Harka mm -hmm. um, was that that's all documented and you can look at those documents mm -hmm. and you can look at the commitments that were made as part of that. Um, I think the Chris Street Regeneration lives up to those commitments. So well, no, I mean, we're putting, you guys those, we're putting over, those commitments into practice. When, when you guys practice. took over the stock, you promised an immediate 10 million investment in, in not just refurbishment, not... There was no talk of redevelopment then. That was just to get the stock. It was all seen. And this is where there's a lack of trust between Poplar Harka and the residents and the business residents is that we've just had falsified lies being told to us over and over and over and over again. 
Even, yeah. even I'll, I'll give you a recent example. Uh, like well, how soon did they say that they're going to reinvest? Well, immediately, immediately. I mean, look, I mean, when when Chris Street Partnership, we had a Chris Street Forum there, which was a a business forum that all the shopkeepers would come together and have meetings every six weeks. In that, um, we had Chris Clark of Poplar Harker stand up and say, "Look, guys, you bring us in, and what we'll do, we'll change." But isn't it the, now they're trying to invest? No, in, I mean in, we're in, going back 10, 12 years here, right? Yeah. So what in ten, twelve years they've allowed this market to dilapidate? As minute they took over, they were supposed to put seating areas around the fountain. We were shown all these plans, and somewhere we've got copies, and this is all minuted and documented. So you know that that doesn't lie. Minutes minutes of the meetings don't lie. Around the front, Christian mm -hmm. market mm -hmm. where Barclays Bank mm -hmm. and where the mm -hmm. offices are, there's meant to be new 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 in the no, fountain, new seating. Okay. There was meant to be new mm -hmm. plants. There were meant to be new lights because people were worried about walking down Chris Street in the dark. It mm -hmm. felt very vulnerable. So all these plans were actually shown to us. That can't lie. So where is that today? Okay, let me just go here. From so the, 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 the previous uh, planning application that was deferred and the issues that were raised, like Zach uh, stated, by the, by the STC committee, a yeah. lot of them we took and we, we actually went back to Poplar Harker. So, for example, there, were, there was going to be um, issues surrounding uh, antisocial behaviour. So we raised that, we looked at um, how many pubs are going to be there, the extension of our hours, whether or not there is going to be an extension of hours, uh, this whole concept of nightlife, what does it consist of? So um, upon a deeper inquiry into these matters, find out it's going to be a um, Indian restaurant, there's going to be a, um, a cinema and community space, and it's not going to go out of um, hours if you... Um, it's going to be within within um, reasonable closing time as it is now. So it doesn't it doesn't change uh, many of these things. Uh, however, we've raised them and we sought to address them. And um, there was going to be initially three pubs, so it's been reduced to two, which pub we can confirm. Yeah. So we have raised those um, oh, issues and concerns. That's and the, and the, thing is, the thing is, the second, the second the second 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 SDC, you see again. We, we spoke to you first, the traders, right? We took those concerns. We spoke to the um, back. We, we went back and forth with Haka, yeah? We highlighted when we wrote to the SDC about all these issues and concerns. So you know that you have a copy of it. Uh, I've given you a yeah. copy. And the entire SDC committee have a copy. And it's, it's on the record. And what we've sought to highlight, being elected as councillors, all three of us, we took a collective decision that we want to highlight all this. We wanted to speak at the SDC. We were not permitted by the rules because um, you had to either speak for or against. And what we wanted to do, because we're not on the SDC, um, what we wanted to do is fairly and proportionately raise all the concerns and issues of traders, of residents, right, and highlight that to the SDC so the SDC can uh, take an informed view on the application yeah, but, itself. Oh, I think and I we made, exactly we what made, says. But we this made, was a we made, we made several, decision, no, right? We made, it is regardless no, what you well, say. Let, 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 let me interject, right? look. But we've made the, it, the we've committee made with Steve Stride yeah, have we've been meeting in private, behind closed let doors. Let me come back. We've uh, got photographs so of them having can, dinner can together. I, can I just say this? Right? We've made, we've made, but that's against regulations and rules. These are allegations that are under the rules. Let me, let me, let me. I haven't viewed that, but what I want to say is, when we made those uh, uh, recommendations, we made actually six recommendations, you know, mm -hmm. and that is about the mooted um, job creation, and those job creation should be targeted for local residents in particular. But you're yeah, losing employed. 700 traders. And that's what we... You're losing no, jobs as it is, because at the moment, we're if you look at the regeneration car, I'm, I'm sorry, but I need to sort... No, no, but I think, I think uh, what is... Let me just quickly say that. Okay. This, this show was meant to happen three or four times, so you've had a long, long time to get your PR spiel mm -hmm. ready. Before the, so be, no, no, before, PR, before, yeah. before the election came, you was with the traders, with the public, and you'd made promises, hence why you didn't... I am with the no, no, and with the let public, me, let me, let me, that's who I am Let me finish my point. That's who I'm so when we come back down to the recent that. SDC decision, which was a yes for mm. the regeneration mm. on the grounds of yeah. whatever it was done, yeah. to be honest with you, it was disheartening to see a local councillor who was supposedly neutral clapping and no, there's witnesses there's witnesses there for second no, it's, not, it's not like it's, 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 that, that's something that can be proved can this, this, is, this is something no, I, no, I don't know so yeah, yeah but okay it's, it's new to me okay Carl, uh, i'm saying it's in the public I'm, I'm saying in the public domain if you to want me. to sue me you can sue me but i'm telling you there's witnesses to this <laughs> yeah. you're all happy yeah. secondly when it comes down to the stc 
The right question. Hey, was it just general clapping? Or no, no, no. It was, it was, it was, it was cheer of jubilation. If I, if I want to be, if, 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 if I, if I become crass and say something, the, the, the happiness expressed by local okay, councillors. Let's, let's move on. You see, but I think okay. going back to STC, Steve Strides came in, and you know, it was meant to be a place. The town hall is a place of democracy. Local people were stopped from going into that STC committee, and it was bombarded by uh, Popular Harker staff. And right. by Steve Strides dictating what was happening, yes. and so I'm going to and I'm going to say something. No one here is against regeneration. The 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 meager thing that the it's traders the are wanting is a guarantee on written paper and a contract. Show them the that you got 700 people that are employed by this market. And to be honest with you, whatever the benefits are, if in 12 years you haven't invested what you are meant to have invested, they could promise us that the moon will be pink tomorrow. And so, is our councillors going to so believe the, this? The, the problem I have with a lot a lot of these things is that. If you're, stating, mm -hmm. if you're stating what you think to be right, that's fine. But ultimately, um, if you say that 700 people are going to lose their jobs, they're not. Yeah. Um, they haven't lost their jobs for 10 years, for 20 years. For all the time that uh, we've been in charge of the market, the market's been full, no, the that's shops not have true. been full. Our rent's going to so go up. So, so, and all this, thing about, years, all this thing about, and in the first you know, five years, Amar, I tell you, you one thing. You make, point, you make a point, Amar, yeah. which is that, um, oh, it's a conspiracy going on. You know, somehow this was sewn up and yeah. it's unfair. Yeah. But actually, that's just your position. You know, there's mm. no factual evidence for that. You say you've got well, facts. Is, is it, you is throw it facts normal around, that the STC but let's argue them, let's goes argue out them with out. The CEO if you really of believe Poplar that, Harker to the pub after if, the if you really believe that, no, then honestly, believe make a we've case. Got because, because, like, it's, it's Steve great. Steve leading the whole STC into you've the pub next door. If you've got such a great dossier of evidence, you've got such a great dossier of evidence. You've got all these facts. You've got all these written documents and that's what you say all the time to yeah, me yeah. then great but Babu, them, we have got a local call. elected councillor yeah. here who's sitting on the fence and siding with the corporates yeah. when it comes down to accountability are you saying we're corporate you are corporate you're, you're, your business I'm needs are very different my, to the public my, my Once, let me let me to Jay. when it comes down to gentrification and the word's been used we're seeing this happen now because the local people haven't got the same say no 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 if you look okay you believe in Babu, you believe in facts and figures in the council, when the, when the facts and figures were presented, do you know how many people were for, for this um, development and how many were against? Do you know? What, as an as a absolute figure? The figures that so were... Let's the, give you that figure. Approximately. approximately. So let's give you that figure. I would say, uh, in my opinion, the majority of people on that, in that community, that's who live in those homes, mm. who shop in that market, yeah. and who trade in that market, were positive about okay. it. Okay, the, but the facts and figures state that over 2,000 people were against it and only 1,704. So clearly, either your consultation well, is wrong or actually you, you haven't appeased so everybody. Where did, where did you well, get that? There, the there, there was given on screen, on screen, on was given on screen panic, and that council meeting. And this is the thing. And 6,300 against. So, so when you say that... So that's you're going to tell us, a, yes, it's all been done. That's the SDC's figures. Secondly, that's we've seen... So sorry, yeah. yes. Like, the, the, thing about, the thing about these facts... Well, um, is that Kahari is saying he hasn't seen... Why would he... Well, okay, let me tell you. We can all yeah, be blind yeah, as a yeah, car. Car, how come you have not seen the against? They are against all these people. No, it gave the two figures that these are... On the surveys done... So many he people was there, were for it, and these are the people so, against it. So let, the figures against it were higher, even then the STC passed this. Let me let me, right? let me take let me take. So, this. Wait, did you so see the actual figures or not? You didn't see, see it. That figure. So you okay, so well, this is what I've, so I haven't seen that figure, so I don't know. I can't. Figure. Figure. Okay, okay, so, okay, so it was on the screen. It's on the website. So if you go to the planning application, let's take let's take let's take this. Okay. But let's, yeah. let's take he, was, he was there. Let's take, but let's, let's yeah. take a point on this. Yeah. If you're saying that planning decisions can only be made by the number of people who sign a petition, mm. for or against, mm. then that's fine. You can suggest that. But, but you said something that it was majority but, but, but are happy, but they're but not. But, but, but no, you've got the to look at the, remit, signed the geographical area competition. You've got to look at that as well. well who, what do you mean? Who knows who signed the petition? No, no, no. Everybody in Tower Hamlets is going to be affected. If we, as the council and an administration, is selling off our Land S saying that, for saying, who, who, saying so, who actually signed those, uh, isn't it yeah. supposed to, if it's done properly, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be the residents or the traders who actually live in that uh, area? I would say they uh, were never scrutinised in that way. They so, weren't meant to represent that. So if I go out and I say, OK, will you sign my petition? And people did go out and say, sign my petition. Some people just mm -hmm. sign because they just want to be left alone and they'll yeah. sign it. Um, and all I'm saying is that but if, I understand if we're going to uh, make... actually done a survey. Yes, I'm glad we, you brought that we, up we because have, we've, we've done had surveys, we've talked we've to people. Residents come up to us, our customers in E1, who knew nothing about the Christian regeneration, and say, oh, somebody from Poplar Harker knocked on my door at 7.30 and asked me to sign the survey. And I said, what's it got to do with me in E1? 
Poplar Harcourt are putting their employees on the street, going door to door, knocking, getting them to sign. So, Even Amal, then, did you, got sign, did you sign a petition? I signed a petition. Okay, against so you it. live in Ilford, don't you? No, so yeah, you but don't I have, have a business. Locally. I pay business so, tax. So did you make that clear? Race. Did you make that yes, clear? Yes, I put my so, address down. So is that, okay, is that okay, something? Okay, that, so every address isn't no, local then? No, 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 it's the wrong place to say all the documentation mm. that went into planning no, no, because wait, there were there, literally there, was, there were literally you, hundreds you of pages show, of documentation show us five about, about to say that after about the consultation. Deferral, there the was numbers, another public consultation. Was it advertised in the press? The numbers, but was there any paper uh, advertisement? After, 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 in between the two committees, you had an open I've, date. I've met with you yeah. several times. Yeah, We've discussed it. I've met with I've met with traders several times. I've met with the public several times. So it's not right to say that it didn't happen. Maybe in your narrow terms, it wasn't. In a public, public meeting. Public, uh, apparently, well, sorry, I don't know how you define public meetings. I don't know what you define. It's, it's like, open for it's the not a one to one. That's an individual. Then there were meetings like that. There were meetings. No, you meetings, had sorry. a public okay. open day, which clearly states on a Harker letter. Oh, so an open day isn't no, a public uh, meeting. Which you're not allowed to say anything against the plans. We're just telling you again what we're going to do. It so, clearly states on there that we won't so, be listening to so, your views. Uh, or there won't be any changes at this stage in the Amar, application. I'm, I'm really, You've actually put that on I'm the really, Harker letter. Amar, here, look, right? I, I, when, when the council I'm SDC really, said I'm really happy. that you need to sit down and yeah. talk to the residents yeah. and take on board yeah. something, some of the yeah. things and work with them. Yeah. So, so Amar, look, I mean, you might have a better idea of how to do consultation than me. Yeah. No, 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 that's you, guys are, the, fine. you fine. guys are the corporates that are doing yeah. the consultation. No, no, what no, guarantees no. has come out now since so, the last so, three so months? I did, let me just make this point about consultation. So yeah. you might have a better idea about that, and I welcome your ideas about who we should engage in and how we should engage it. Yeah. But just setting a really narrow band of what meets your definition and what doesn't, doesn't mean that all the people we talk to somehow don't count or they don't matter. Everyone well, we talk to matters. Well, now, okay, whether, so whether, it fits your, that, whether it okay, fits your definition the traders, is, even is the, by the Even by. the people that are with your plans, there is one common denominator between all of them that they're against, is the car park. You, that's one major, major thing that whether you're for it or against it, even the people who are for it are saying, even the councillors who said that this market will not survive without a car park, but yet you've got your blinders on, you're putting a deaf ear, and you are consistently saying, so, without having any knowledge of business, you guys are not business people, you have got no business experience. So, so you say that. Your consultants feel that this market can survive. So, Although, yeah, we've got Stratford, Westfields, that has a massive car park, Oxford one of the Street. largest. We've got Oxford Street, we've got Canary so, so Wharf, which is the highest has, security risk I mean, in can, London City, I, I, the financial city, yeah. which has a car park for its shoppers. So look, but yet you're saying that I'd you like want to spend. narrow Chris Street shoppers to a local vicinity and kill I'd the like, market. I'd like, I'd we've like, had, I'd we've, like well, we've seen like locally a big business who operates in the Southeast Asian food market who has now moved and opened another branch somewhere across the A13 because of car parking. Well, car parking in, in in London, to be honest, is is, is a major major. Yes, it is, uh, 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 and it's something that you can't that can't be an oversight that you're and, not going to put a car now, parking now, when it's as, already as, there. As a national, uh, and with being a Greenpeace and all that, you know, they want to reduce it nationally. You know, the usage of cars. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. there's a big a huge pressure. No, no, so, I mean, is, see, is, is that, that what, is that we, part, what part? we're disagreeing is you can't have one rule for one and one rule for another. So if Tower Hamlets Council. Labour, whoever they are, want to have a car-free zone, then all the planning applications within the borough should have no cars. 300 yards up the road, Telford Homes themselves, the master developer of this project, have got planning permission granted in September 2017. You can go on the planning website portal and they've got planning for underground car park. Yet we are demanding that they build, and it's down to financial factors. They don't want to invest. They don't care about the local public. They don't care about their demands. We've already got a car park here. I've spoken to two surveyors. We've spoken to other councillors in, in, in Tower Hamlets and in Redbridge and in the borough of Newham. And they've all stated I, I, right, I think that there's come, already come, a car come, park come, there. Come. You don't need planning yeah. permission. If you want to build on top, you just, yeah. you just add on I mean, top I mean, of it. Car park has been a major issue with a lot of the people I've got to speak about. Let's, let's hear why they're not addressing that. Uh, I, I know you tried 
uh, I think there's an alternative plan as to uh, there's a drop off point and pick up points and all that stuff. But we might as well put the cars onto our own forehead. Do you think? So I know I know parking's uh, a, a, a contentious issue. Um, personally, I think that. Uh, we are not able to deal with the amount of car traffic that there is in the borough. The no, no, not personally. Effects. What is your organisation's um, so, view in so regards let, to let, this let, particular let, car park? Let, let me just say this. So when it comes to traders and what they think is best for their business, and they say car parking is best for their business, okay, that's one factor. Mm -hmm. There are a series of other factors. What, how is the market going to improve? What are we going to do to it? How are we going to drive footfall? This question of how people go to do their shopping Maybe some people do use cars, lots of people don't. And I think the question for us is... What's the, stati not, what's the statistics not, to back up that most people don't? Well, what I would say is that behaviour change is possible. So look, I it's hear possible, lots of, I hear lots I of traders risk. saying, for example, um, you know, things about plastic bags, that you know, plastic bags, if we can't give out plastic bags for free, that's going to drive away trade. If we have a congestion charge, it's going to drive away trade. If we, um, if we, if we change things, the only consequences are negative. I think that part of this is understanding that the council's policy is to have a car free. Uh, development. No, but so, okay. So the so, council's so, policy so, is so, car free so, zone, but we've so, just seen so and heard we, now we, we the development apply. 300 yards away with well, an underground car park. We, we is apply. your company willing to invest in infrastructure to provide a car park as it is existing or create underground car parking? We, You're not willing to put your, your money where your mouth is? Has, has that been in the consultation? Only, yeah. only because. No, that's the major contested issue. Because they have not sorted that. Well, only because I would say. Has that from council? Has that been rectified now than car? No, that has been one of the concerns. Has it been rectified? We've raised that with Poplar Haka, like I say, there's, um, they're looking at other potential sites because that, um, what well, we've, that three quarters of a mile yeah, away, that current potential uh, car park. Uh, no, no, it's an existing them. car park. It's not yeah. current, it's an existing yeah. car park, it which is the life It doesn't so belong to Poplar Haka or the council. Or the council. As so mentioned, underground car park, this, can't that be facilitated? So, not so there not is by no, the council, there is no, but, no, I mean, but, yeah, but, but, so yeah, but what we did in terms of the uh, parking, we made recommendations that, you know, the uh, surrounding street parking and the bays and the loading, that should that, not be decreased. Parking, yeah, that, yeah, that should, parking, not that should not be decreased. Okay. That's, that's the Okay, hold up. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. You're so, saying that you've made a proposal that the side streets, which are already currently not in place. No proposal, a recommendation. A recommendation. Right. Did yeah. you recommend that, that the car park remains? No. No, it shouldn't decrease. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm saying... I'm we raised those concerns. Okay, so did, yeah. did you... Are you, raised those concerns about the are you happy here? with Kapabla Harker's answer so that the car just, park is going to remain? Just, it's not going to remain, is it? Just, so I, how no. are you saying that you've raised issues yeah. and to me it just sounds like you've raised issues for the sake of raising yeah, issues no, no, no. and you're not following things so, through no, the car? No, no, we have. We have. Have you... What, what, what changes happened? What guarantees have we got from Poplar What changes? We're saying, what we're saying in terms of the... We as in the council or we as in Poplar Harker and the council? No, as just local councillors. Because these concerns have been raised with us, and we had uh, numerous discussions. So as a not council, just Uma, council, I'm, I'm asking others. you yes. a direct yeah. question. Yeah. You have We've raised, raised this. Have you been yeah. given a written guarantee on paper by Poplar Harker that that will remain? Or that they will but it isn't right. provide? But because it isn't every time right we ask, ask them, them yeah. all they are saying it's, is, oh, we'll see later. It's all it's not, fake but, promises. But Amar, it's not, Up to now, we've had nothing but fake so, promises, so, I think. So, Amar, you yeah. know, you're, 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 you're saying Give very some clearly... some guarantees. No, no, but, but listen, but listen. There, not about why are you so scared not, about not, putting it on paper? Not about parking you're specifically. You're not committing to anything. But, but, but look, here's, here's what we're doing. Yeah. We know that the development has to be car-free in order to meet the planning policy. No, you don't. So, why is it So, Amar, let me just carry on. So, we... Don't yet know. You don't yet know yeah. what impact that will have on trade. Mm. I don't think it will have a negative yeah, but, impact. Look, on no trade. disrespect. And, 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 to, and like you said, to take, you live in to North take yourself, to take this all. I don't actually. Or, I don't or, or wherever you don't live in Tower Hamlets. And I, live, I live a lot is, closer to Your Hamlet's office is, is relocating out of Chris Street. It's not. Whether it's not. Chris Street, Amar, it's not. Listen, so, so look, you have not got no vested investment within the market, right? We have a huge investment in the market. I'm talking about you as employees. You work for a company. Right, we have our personal so, investments. If tomorrow that business doesn't work, we're the financial losers. So, so why is right? it that Chris you will, is your full. shops can rotate? The, oh, it's not full. It is. You've got more empty shops in Chris Street. Really? Then yeah. where? Then where? The, then it was then ten where? years then ago. Where? Then when where? Tower give me, Hamlet's give me an example. It, there was a of, waiting list. Give me, for three give me an example, Mark. You're well, really good okay. at facts and figures. Give me, no, okay. give me an example. The, the another, market, me, another, market, another market. Another market. Another market. Which has? Street is full. Which has? Street is full. And Watney Street. Where do you park in Watney Street? 
there's parking. No, there is no, parking. There's, there's not first. There's not parking. To be, no, there's not no, 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 no. Okay, there's let me let me tell you. Uh, to be honest with you, because I live in that area, there's car parking underneath. Not for yes, there is. If you look at certain shops, they've got parking bays underneath. The yeah, market traders park inside. Very and that's market traders. traders. No, no, that's no, no, no. Market traders and, resi and residents. And if you shop and within residents. Chapman Street, there is car parking in the and back. Residents. It's very different. So when we look at car parking, no, no, how much it affects? No, no, no. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I've said to you. White New Market, because yeah. I live near so, that, so there is parking I, for residents, for know. traders, for the public, and it's always been but, but there. There's an underground car park. Yes, there's an underground yeah, car park, but it isn't used. There's rare service areas. It is and used. one more thing, when we come back down to now, Kaha, I want to ask you a question. Are you for this development on the premise that these promises are going to happen, or are you for this development because you've got guarantees for the traders and the residents who oppose this? Everyone wants, just wants a better deal. There's government of money course. being involved, there's local council money going to Poplahaka. Councillor Andrew Woods mentioned that there's a private development which achieved social housing of a target of 50% without all of this extra money. Are we getting Councillor Kaha That's the best deal as public stakeholders in this market and this redevelopment? If not, because you yeah. might be here today, you might be gone in four yeah. years' time, we don't know. But one thing that I have seen from you and your show and the, uh, your performance on the show, mm. you're denying the things that you've already contributed to. So no, on the SDC, no, 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 no. on the SDC, no, I have witnesses. I have, I have witnesses. No, no, no. I have let me finish my state. Let me finish my point. On the SDC, there was a councillor sit, who sits yeah. on the SDC, um, an elderly gentleman, yeah. uh, former councillor um, Uncle Hallis. He asked that chap, "How come you voted this way?" He turned around and he said, "And there's witnesses. What was I meant to do? What am I meant to do?" You as an elected official, Councillor um, Kaha, you represent the people of Lansbury. Yep. With pre-election, you was, no, 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 we need to fight, we need to get this, this, and that done. Now election has come and gone. We've not seen no change from the previous deferral to this SDC. No. We don't see no increase of anything. And why is that the council are so willing to bend over backwards and allow a, such a minute amount of social housing, which equates to, I've heard, seven properties? Can I, can I, just, can I just ask the answer? Why should we not be fighting for 50%? Can I, can I just answer that question? Yes. We want, we want, there's a... But, but well, Zach, no, no. you could have 50%. No, no, but, have 50%, is, but it would mean no investment in the shops. No, no, but what I'm trying to explain to you is if you guys want to, you can put in and prioritise the people and the public instead of your financial but gains. What we've done... Underground car parking, how much will it cost? This, this scheme, so just, just to take that point, Zach, um, we, the council itself said we would lose money in terms of the viability of this scheme because we made sure that we tried to satisfy all the elements of this scheme. So that's the local housing, that's social housing, that's affordable housing. It's also the shopkeepers and making sure we've got a good environment for that to happen. It's also the public facilities like the idea store, um, all the council facilities that are going to be in the Shore Star Children's Centre. So it's finding the right balance of those things. Yes, we could just prioritise social housing if that's what the only demand was. But actually we're trying to balance up because it's a district centre, it's a district shopping centre. It's got so much more going on than only social yeah, but, housing. Uh, Papi, look, as a businessman, what, what we survive on, right? Now, you're making, I think, from, I believe, 300, what, what have we got right now, 300, 250 flats, you're turned, going into 650, right? We, as a business, cannot survive on the custom of 650 local flats, all right? How many times are they going to use us, okay? Now, what you're killing off by not having a car park is passing trade, all right? We're not attracting anybody. With a car-free zone, and what we're being told by the planning, that if this goes ahead, and it's a no-free, Anybody who is a resident there will not get permits to park their cars on the streets. Am I that's, right a that's, that's a fact. That's in, a fact. In the new yeah. private in housing In the new section. private housing private section, right? Place. So, mm. now, basically, there'll be no parking on the streets. Now, for example, a passerby who wants to see all the Percy Ingle, wants to stop for a mm. coffee and a donut. Where does he stop and pull over? How many donuts are 650 people going to buy? And the residents that are moving into this place are going to be working class people. They're going to be going to work. So they might be grabbing their donuts at seven in the morning on the way out or maybe at the tube station. But who's going to be shopping during the day? 650 people. It'd be a ghost town like so, Apafeldi. No, 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 because secondly, right because now, Apafeldi and, is a and ghost high town. Streets, high streets day. nationally right have now. been targeted yeah. and high streets are failing. Yeah. We've seen obviously the booming online sort of business. Right. But high streets are failing because of these contentious um, issues around car parking. Right. And the statistics and figures near really? enough every and other which, which, under year on year. I can't tell I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you. I can't give you that. Sorry. So we, we had a meeting with the GNA and two, uh, and two also, pilot Can I just ask you another question? Just, 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 in front just, of us. Well, just well, because yeah. there, there just seems to be. Finish your point first and then. Yeah, no, honestly, I wouldn't interrupt you. But. Just my, my question is that you say like, oh, 650 housing, 650 homes aren't enough. What we need is parking. You were saying, Zach, 
what we need is more homes, more social homes. Um, in the end, shouldn't you be disagreeing with a whole number of us rather than just me and Kahar? Because mm -hmm. ultimately, you've got one priority, apparently, which is parking. Yeah. Why is that your only priority? Because when there's so much we, more we have here done, than just parking. Back, Surely you so, two okay, should be disagreeing. This is where, where I stand. I am sick to death of corporates coming in and giving us a backhand. No, no. Corporates coming in. Uh, no, 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 can, can I just say? Uh, yeah, um, because we are going to go for a short break, I understand right. you're going to leave. Yeah. Right. So if you want to address any questions, well, let, let me just or, finish or, that. Then, then, then we, um, we can after, go for a short after, break. After a discussion with the GLA, two, two schemes were put in front of us. One was, I don't know if you know Green Street, Queen's Market in I Green know, Street, Forest Street, Street yeah. Upton Park, E7. And another one was a re generation development, which is Rathbone Market in Town. Yeah. The GLA looked at these two projects of, of sustainability and they looked at that Chris Street, uh, sorry, Queen's Market was up for redevelopment 15 to 16 years ago, had heavy opposition. It's run down. It's really badly run down right now. But it's one of the most thriving markets in East London right now. It's packed. It's got a car park for 350 cars. It attracts so many shoppers. Then you've got Rathbone Market right and now. And so, so does all right. So do lots of places that yeah, don't. Yeah. So have like Romford, Romford Market, massive car park, oh, massive I was, attraction. I was going to say something Dagenham like Market, I was gonna massive say something car like, park. Something, Sunday's packed. I was and now say, look at Rathbone Market. I was going to say. Let that, me finish what the GLA said. If you look at Covent so Garden, if you look at kind of well, listen, uh, if Covent you look Garden at, is a tourist look, area in well, central well, London. But why can't we sort of move away from this idea of car parking? If the offer's right, if the shops are so you're saying that people are going to fly into this country and go to Chris Street Market. So I. I am saying that people will get, so we'll get on the DLR, we'll get on the DLR, we'll get on the bus, we'll no, we'll walk, no, 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 the project has actually failed. The market is not running. There's no car parking. Any, it's everywhere. It's double yellow lines. It's become a car-free area. So it proves that no... Look, I go past there as well. And the only time I can pull into is somewhere like Mackey's because they've got a driving car park. So Apart from that, you can't stop without getting a ticket. So who's going to stop for a 60p donor and get hmm. a 60 pound fine? But I saw, so how I've would seen, our local businesses survive? I've seen plenty of people I go to, the, I go to that cafe. So cafe? I do. I go to the cafe on the corner of uh, Canning Town Road, yeah. uh, just opposite uh, And are you Rathbone not worried Market. about getting a ticket? Um, because... I don't do take you, the would car. you take the risk? I don't take the car. I so I'll go for the offer. Yeah. It's a great, it's a great but, Turkish but, cafe. But, but, but coming to uh, more into real zone, I mean, although the government and everyone is pushing toward the green zone, car free zone, right? But habit wise, um, still people are into the old zone, you know? And if you look at the transportation facility as well, mm. in, in certain marketplace, uh, not naming them, um, still there's a, there is an issue where, you know, you will not get mass traffic or sort of like sometime when you're passing by, when you mentioned the road, um, well, look, I'm, Canning Town yeah, market. I'm in a hardware said, business. Yeah. I've got customers coming in from Romford on the way into central London, pick up paints and whatever they need. Builders come in with their vans. Where are they going to go? They're not, gonna, they're not local builders. But, but, Some of them come but, in Romford, but, Ilford, it, Essex, it, it, Again, for, for regeneration, right? Right. When, when we're talking about regeneration, right? that's part of the development. Do you think that 50-50, you should adopt some of those uh, areas that's being imposed and... Uh, well, no, look, you know, uh, under the that generation, happened. The what we're asking has for happened. is like for like, and this is what we're saying, mm -hmm. offer us like for like services. Right now, our customers have loading areas. We have, we come in from far afield as business owners, we've got somewhere to park. When we took these premises on 15 years ago, we looked at all these services available and that's what attracted us to it. Now, we've spoken to our surveyors and they said, well, look, it's not 1,200 squat. 300 square foot for 1200 square foot further down the market impact light access all of that is part of the services you are provided if they're not providing you those today if you've got loading base whether it's on your lease or not it's a service that services that business it's a right of access if that is not provided to you then it's not like for like and that's what harker don't want to listen the simple thing the give, give a written contract they they are not willing to put even for the people who have actually said yes for them the STC committee that on the first sitting asked one of the main speakers for the Yes campaign who was there, asked them that, have Harker given you anything in writing? And she was embarrassed to put her head down and say, no, I trust them, but I don't have anything legally in writing. 
They are not giving anything in Th writing. Th thank, thank you, Amar. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, everyone. Right. Um, Amar is going to be uh, leave, yeah. <laughs> gonna leaving us. Even. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> Amar is going to be leaving us. Uh, we're just going to go for a short break and we will be, uh, um, we'll have another guest uh, joining us as well. Um, Sorry, uh, we're going to go break later. So, um, so if, um, well, we continue. We'll, we'll co co continue. <laughs> oh, but let me come back on, yeah, the, yeah, on that. Yeah. Point. So, so if you can just yeah, answer. Just, that. just, just to say, I, I, I know that traders will have particular interests, and that that, that you, you will want to have the best deal you can possibly get, mm. and I accept that. And I accept that sometimes you won't get that deal as well. You know, the, no, the but deal why are we not offering just, light for light? Just, That's what just, we're asking. We're just, asking just, just on this point. Is, is um, there, of, is, doesn't of light the contract for light. say light so, for light? So the, the question is, and you, you, you raised this question, like, so you said, like, why not put it in writing? But we do. We have a lease. We have a lease with every single shopkeeper. We have a written agreement. Yeah. And so when we negotiate those agreements, yes, that's, that's the basis for any conversation. People, we are not that's why, light for light. That's, that's why when a lot of these points come up, yeah. I just think like, okay, these are guys who've got the legal stuff. You've got a solicitor. You've got people advising you. Use that. You don't have to complain on TV. Mm. Use your legal powers. Look at the lease. But why do Tell you us have to go to that? To. This is the so, thing so, about sorry. it. You see? I, I you're just, saying you're on open so, air. So, so you want us to go so down your question, the legal route. So, so your question, the you're, you're already going down the legal route. No, you have to sign a lease. We have to after you 10 to, years you have because to, you are you not have listening. To have a legal You've got agreement. deaf ears. Half this is, don't want to listen. This is a question. This, this is, a, this is, you just said it yourself. Amar, this is Take a question. It. Why can you not this, say an this open is, air this is, this that you are willing to sit down with the local residents and the businesses, right? and come to terms of this, giving them exactly what they have. This, we're this, not, we're this not a, asking you for anything extra. This, we're this not saying, a, I've got a 2,000 square foot and I want 4,000. We so, are asking so you is, for like for like. So this is a question. Isn't that you know, if, if, your, is, if your employee asks you for is, a pay rise, I don't know what you pay, pay yeah. your employees, but if they ask you for a pay rise, uh, you could say like, on, but why actually, are we going, I'm asking you I'm, for like I'm talking, for like, I'm I'm asking talking, for an I'm talking about. So why can't you just verbally agree that and give them a pay rise? You know, you you yeah. would say your employees. Why not give them no, verbally so a pay when rise? You verbally because agree. you would say because you no, would say no, we've listen, got a contract. Hold on, hold on. There is a contract between every employee. And what they are saying also is that have something in writing. So why isn't such a big organisation like you every single? So this this is this is the point. So for every single trader. Every single shopkeeper, every single resident, we produced an offer. That's a written offer. Yes. That's in front and of us. And that doesn't fact, match like for life. In fact, in fact, so I, I'm sorry, right. Amal. So, so you, you made a different point, which is that we didn't put anything in writing. We put everything. No, no, in no. Writing. So you're offering what you think is right. I'll be honest. We've had offers. I'm the offering. units are smaller. We're at the front. You're pushing us to the back. You're I'm, telling us I'm what to offering, do. I'm right? offering something no, in writing. So that offer isn't for acceptable. Every single well, well look. Right. You, you're so, now saying no, you no. I'm, and I'm, I'm saying that's I'm, fine. My main fact is like for like. Isn't that what the law states? If is that's that, what the law, or is that not what the law if states? If that's what the law states, are, so then, then why is then, Harker then, denying that then, right? Then why don't you pick up that point yeah. with us? Well, We're we happy have, to how discuss many times? it. You don't how need many times a general principle. You've got lawyers. You've got people operating on but your why, behalf. Listen, why, why have you got those people if need, you just want to do why, a verbal why, agreement why, on the TV so channel? So why is us as businesses who are busy running our businesses so, so one thing about a business that I know is that businesses have paperwork. Businesses operate in a legal basis. Every every. So is an agreement. because of Harker wanting to earn millions out of these apartments, no. why are you putting us out? No. Can, can, right? can I just bring Kahar into this? Mm. Uh, what's your view when Omar is actually saying that he's not getting, or the trade is not him mm. just only, but the trade itself no. is not getting like for like? What is counsel? Uh, point of view. So, as saying. local councils, like I said before, have you addressed their concerns? Yes, we listen to we've, we've, we've listened to them. Done. We've listened to residents as well. So, we were we were very keen and looking at um, how we can retain local businesses, local services as well. There's some of these businesses who provide community services, so above the post office. So, even with those, they have um, Poplar Haka have no obligation with them because it's a private arrangement outside of Haka. Even with them, we've been um, uh, trying to negotiate, speak to Poplar Haka and those uh, businesses, those who operate there, because to retain those community services. So, for example, there's a, a, a ethnic TV channel like Channel I, there's um, care workers who operate from there's there. a mosque. Yeah, there's a mosque. So, why is that three days after the decision? Oh, the mosque is so closed. closed. And, and then there's a the community Hold service on. did nothing to just, retain. Just, just on that point about the mosque, just so, sorry, Kahad, sorry, why don't you carry on, sorry. Yeah, so uh, all this 
all the services we've been looking at, so there's a tutoring uh, services there as well for young kids. So we've been looking at that to see, because Poplar Haka have other premises, to see whether they, they can provide them you know, spaces so that we can retain those community services. Retain them? Well, hold up. If, if Poplar Haka would turn and say to you, we're going to relocate your mosque, to the Isle of Wight, sounds to me like you're so going to be happy so with let's, it. No, so let's say something. Not. Just, just, so what, just what, 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 things are closing. Things are closing. It's not happening. Things are closing. We'll come to mosque issue. Let's come back to the mosque issue. I think we can go for a break now, right? Is there anything else that you need to address? No, I mean, I'm going to say once again, for the viewers at home, we are not against redevelopment. What we feel is the way that Poplar Harker, Tower Hamlets Council have colluded with each other, right, and pushed this through, put the public aside. All I'm saying that, look, I say on air that we stick to the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan's policy. This should have been balloted. The public's concerns should have been taken on board. This was a new application, right? I address, again, we, this was a deferral. Mm -hmm. Tower Hamlets Council decided to treat this as a new application. According to the Mayor of London's office, if it's a new application, it should have met the new regulations because a week before they came in. But it meets, but it meets the Mayor's re No, it doesn't. 50% housing minimum it does. is it a meet, requirement it now. The Mayor, right? the the mayor ballot isn't going to change requirement. This. Look, fine, it's past Tower Hamlets. You guys are local. But the mayor of London you, your buddy friends, your pub friends, good luck. It's now with a, sits on the desk of a man that we trust. Right? We've got the Head of Housing, the Deputy Mayor of Housing looking into this. We've got the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan who is very particular about social housing. Their office has promised us that this will be a fair trial. The rubber stamp has been removed. It's not going to be an easy ride. We will not be quiet. They've done this at Elephant and Castle. They've done this at Hackney. You know, these corporates, like he says, have ruled for too long. And it's today, unfortunately, social housing people don't have a voice. They can't afford lawyers. They can't afford the big guns. We as businesses are going to, not going to be quiet. We, we will fight this to the end. It's going to be delay after delay. We'll stretch it as long as we want, but I can guarantee you it's not going to be easy. All we're asking them, we still invite them today to sit down and work together and do this together. We want to be able to be enjoying this re regeneration right after. Pointless us paying through our noses until they've done it. After it's done, we, we, we go bankrupt and we're having to leave. What's the point of going through a regeneration when we're not there to enjoy the facilities after? Because in eight years, they're not willing to give us any compensation. They're saying there'll be zero losses during the eight years of development. I mean, I don't know what businesses don't suffer when there's a regeneration. Are you saying that when you have an extension put on the back of your house, your family is not disrupted? Of course it's disrupted. Business will be disrupted. Deliveries will be disrupted. Walkthrough will be... They're saying they're going to calculate. How are they going to calculate? They don't have current figures. Where are they going to get these statistics from? They're making things up. The surveys they made, the council, we asked on your members' inquiry, did the planning committee, not themselves, say in writing that they have not verified any of the surveys that are taking place? And when, when the results came through, the surveys by a professional company, who were they? They were their own employees. Poplar Hark had appointed these people. So it's, how can those surveys be true? Council haven't verified them. The STC knew that. Right, even though they haven't taken any of the statistics on board, whatever we said they haven't done on board, so that's why I say it is a corporate swindle. Fine, Tower Hamlets have done it, the so mayor, mayor has pushed this through, whatever. But at the end of the day, look, I mean, you're more of a corporate okay, uh, right? than anybody. So, uh, yeah, let, so, let me bring you, know, you into it, right? We are not going to go for a break, right? yeah. we, we just want to go through it because uh, it's almost time to finish. We're not going to go for a break, right? I, I think um, we have heard what Omar's concern is, mm. and uh, he's uh, more. You know, well, we're passionate. We've been here. Yeah. We work. Yeah. This is our lives. So, uh, we're not going to give up. How just like that. are you going to address their concern? So we've been uh, responding to all the concerns that we've had. The main uh, one is the car We sat down. So, so actually, this and the members of the public that were there on that day. Harker ferried in their people. One more thing I'd like to highlight and raise: there was a lot of people from different communities from Tower Hamlets. The Section One Hundred Six money is something which is given when the social housing mm. need is not met. Have Harker promised a mosque in Bromley by Bow? Because we've seen members of the community from Bromley by Bow, from which Harker has got a, a huge estate there, that they've been promised Section 106 funding if they support the development of Pop Chris Street Market. It's about actually understanding that the local people in Chris Street Market need to get the best out of this, not this Section 106 money for faith organisations and mosques and stuff. We have seen in the two STC committees 
corporate whitewash, corporate lobbying. Yeah. And it's not about car. You're like elected a, to represent the ward. But this Have you like, fully elected and um, represented the ward when you sat on one side of the fence, changed again? Well, and I, and I, one more thing. That. No, you no, it's the truth. It's the truth. We're almost... And it's the truth. I am elected. There's pictures of you before, pictures of you after. I'm not happy that the councillors have actually answered these questions and verified them. He asked the question he doesn't allow one to answer. Because you're lying. Because you're making things up and you're telling fibs. You sat there clapping. You have the recommendation. You sat there clapping. Everything stays And by the way, Councillor James King stood up and spoke and asked questions. You would have been allowed to speak, but you chose not to. You said you're neutral. Yeah, here you are no, sat no, on that no. side I'm, and not I'm, with the public. I'm sure you know? I'm, I no, can understand from both, both sides, right? There's a lot. I'm, not, I'm happy. I'm happy. No, 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 no in your defense. No, with, with, no. Every, with, with, the, every... with the mosque issue, yeah, with Chromax, all these issues, yeah. straight away I called up uh, Babu. I sat with Steve, Babu. We raised those concerns that look, they, something's gone wrong here. The mosque is uh, out of commission because of the rent increase and so on. You need to speak yeah. to them, see what's the going on there. The mosque is still there. That's what let's, well. let's get that back, back in the hands of traders so that people can pray here locally. Fact. Also, alternatively, I called up local mosques, like Popla Shajalal Mosque, and said, you know, can you see if you can arrange a second uh, uh, Jumma for traders so they can do that. No, no, so you took this that. address. Okay. Sorry, okay. So, what have no. done about it? Sorry? What, what have they done? Yeah. So, so let's just explain. It's been now, what, six weeks? Let's just, let's the just, mosque is still let's, closed. Let's just explain this. The mosque no. isn't closed. The organisation is still in that building. Mm -hmm. Now, they had a problem with the rent that was being asked for by, by the company who manages that space. That would have happened regardless of Chris Street. Mm -hmm. That was just an issue about whether they could afford that space. So what they've done is they've, they've reduced the space they've got. They're still in that building. And we are working with Chromex to try and get them that space back. So that's what we want to do. It's not because um, it's somehow linked to planning or anything else. That's just... Um, uh, uh, something that you've added in which isn't right. No, 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 no. Also, no, 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 um, we also made a recommendation, and that's been adopted by Haka, that there's a board set up, right, comprising of different representatives, you know, from uh, residents, from traders, from uh, local board councillors and um, uh, other interested parties, right? So that board then oversees and overlooks this redevelopment, addressing issues and, uh, as and when they arise. Because this development is going to go on. It's, it's a long... You know, we're here for the long stretch, yeah? So it, it, the work may commence in two years' time. So there's a lot of issues that, that will arise. And this is why we've, we've done this, you know, and we've spoken to Haka and said, let's create that board so we can address all these ongoing issues. I, 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 th arise, I think we can yeah? all agree to disagree. There's a lot of issues here, and I'm this sure... This program for, will go on for another. Yeah, 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 as, as uh, from the traders and as, mm. as a campaigner, um, you have to listen from their point of view. And also, as with, from, from their side, with every regeneration, right, there's mm. always calamity. Mm. There's some side that's going to uh, be falling out and there's someone who's going to uh, have to bite the you know, uh, bi biggest yeah. chunk. And there will be some people who's biting the smaller chunk. No, but so there, there's, with, with regeneration, no, it does happen. No, but what it is... Has it been done properly? That is the main issue. No, that's the main issue. Right? That is the main issue. Um, only thing is, right, what we have learned is from, from Babu is, you know, if we haven't, then um, why don't you take the legal route and... No, but it's, but it's not too late but, to get the promises, the Harker promises. And one more thing. Ka, I'm very happy that you've been elected. You're, we've been told that you're no, professional, smart, we, we and everything. Can't extend, no, no, can't it no, no, I'm not saying it. I'm just saying it's about like common sense now. It's about, it's, no, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying something. So is, is it crude that I'm saying you're a professional, that you're smart and you're young? What I'm trying to explain to you is hold the council officers to account. We do are. not be lobbied by the corporates. Do not be we listening are. to them. They're telling you that the sky is what, 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 blue tomorrow no, no, and no. this will be red the day after. We, That's we, what we don't want to see. That's what we've seen. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. No, you haven't. Unfortunately, we're not getting the best deal. We're not getting the best deal. We have to leave that for another moment. It's there. Housing, 50%. It's a Labour Party policy. So why is it not there then? We have urged it. It, the council police urging to the point that you're not going to ruin percent. your relationship okay. with Harker. Urging, no. urging or doing it. Like, that's that's a nice word. We, 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 we have, to do that. ladies and gentlemen. We I'm sure we can agree that. to disagree. There's a lot to be discussed, and I have to thank everyone that came today. Thank you for thank your you. opinions thank and you. views.